The Minister for Health and Ageing. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I ask leave of the House to make a ministerial statement relating to e-health reform. Well, is there any objection to the Leader of the National Party? Leave. But this is not a ministerial statement. It's a tirade of political abuse. It's an abuse of the ministerial statement, uh, ministerial statement process, so leave is not granted. Leave is not granted. The leader, the, sorry, the Minister for Health, the, uh, the leader of the House. I move that so much of standing orders would be suspended as would allow the Minister for Health to give a statement to the Parliament on e-health reform not exceeding 10 minutes. Order. The question is that the motion moved by the Leader of the House for the suspension of standing orders be agreed to. The member for Menzies. The opposes this, just as we oppose the giving of the leave in the first place. This is an abuse of the parliamentary processes by the Minister and now by the Leader of the House. If they think they can come in here, Mr Speaker, every day in the way in which we have from the Leader of the House, just abusing the parliamentary process, well then the opposition is not going to stand for it. We've had it today. We've had it today. We had it today in this attack by the Minister for Health, a sectarian attack by the Minister for Health, repeating what she said, repeating what she said a week ago, uh, in, and this was passing somehow the for parliamentary for debate. For it place. is disgusting. The member for Menzies will resume his seat. The Leader of the House. Mr Speaker, this is a suspension so as to allow so as to allow the Minister to speak for ten minutes. They are taking more time in debating the procedures and debating the substance, order. which says it all. Order. Which There's says no it all about those opposite, Mr. The Mr. Speaker. The Leader of the House resuming his place. The member for Menzies has the call. Mr. Speaker, I am speaking against the motion which was moved by the Leader of the House, and I am putting to the House that this is an abuse of the processes of the House, given the attitude that has been taken by this minister the in relation to Menzies these matters. For... And what we have. What we have from this minister is an attempt today, an attempt today to engage in a tirade of abuse against the opposition rather than, rather than debating matters of significance and importance to the people of Australia. And it's for that reason, Mr Speaker, it's for that reason that we oppose giving of leave to the minister in the first place, and it's for that reason why we're opposed to this motion from the Leader of the House. This is a matter which is still before the Parliament in other realms. It's a matter which could be actually debated in a proper setting within this House, but instead we don't get that. We simply have the Minister coming in here at question time with the attitude that she's taken and now being backed up by the Leader of the House who says, well, we'll just waltz this through, we'll just push it through, we'll use the usual thuggery that we get from the Leader of the House in this place towards all matters of parliamentary procedure. And as far as we're concerned on this side of the House, as far as we're concerned on this side of the House, Mr Speaker, well, we're going to make a stance for proper parliamentary performance and we're going to make a stance, we're going to make a stance against the abuse of the processes and the procedures of this Parliament, which is so typically engaged in by the Leader of the House. So, Mr Speaker, to say it again, we have not given leave. We did not give leave, as was pointed out by the Leader of the National Party in this place, for the reasons that he did, and for that reason, as well, we are saying that we're not going to engage ourselves and allow this parliament to be engaged in a tirade of personal abuse from the Minister for Health as we've seen her engage in here. Mr Speaker, this is a matter in which she has simply wanted to bring up a personal attack against the Leader of the Opposition. She was doing it at the end of a question today and she did it before she did it last week in question time. Nothing about substance, nothing about Nothing about this government's proposals for health. And of course, when they get a question about health, when a serious question is asked about health by uh, the the shadow minister about, for example, why Dr John Mendoza did resign and said he was disgusted with the attitude of the minister in relation to this matter, well then, of course, we have no answer from the Prime Minister, who simply waffles on for minute after minute after minute, as we get usually in question time. He couldn't even name Professor Mendoza yesterday when he asked for when one of the most significant medical advisers, the chairman of the National Advisory Council on Medicine, 
mental health sent this letter to the government saying that I am stepping down. And why was he stepping down? Because he said that the whole approach of this minister and this government no to mental health no was vision. a disgust that had no vision whatsoever. Worse than that, he said that what the government was doing, as we typically know, was actually claiming for itself, claiming for itself the the programs and the policy expenditure that had been put into place by the previous government. And, of course, the Prime Minister can't even mention Professor Mendoza when he's asked in here why such an illustrious leader in the mental health field in Australia said that I am resigning because of the shabby treatment for mental health policy and mental health programs under this minister. And yet, what do we get from this minister? She comes in here and says, oh, it's great for me. I will make a personal attack on the leader of the opposition. That's what she's about. She can't come in here and defend her failure to provide adequate funding for mental health programs in Australia. She can't come in here and say this is the way in which we're going forward so far as health is concerned in Australia. All she can do is come in here and engage in a foul sectarian attack on the on the person and the character of the Leader of the Opposition, and that's what we've had. So it's for that reason, Mr Speaker, it's for that reason that the Opposition is not giving leave. The Opposition is not giving leave. Member for Solomon. It's for that reason. Member for has a call. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It's for that reason that the Opposition is not giving leave to this Minister, and it's for that reason that we will vote against this motion, this thuggish motion, from the Leader of the House, who says we can just waltz in here and engage in a personal tirade against the Leader of the Opposition and against the Shadow Health Minister, as they seek to do day after day, rather than doing anything actually substantial so far as the health care funding in Australia is concerned. And if there's any greater example of that, it's composed in this letter from Professor John Mendoza, one of the most illustrious leaders in mental health in this country, saying that this is just a shabby approach from this minister and this government so far as mental health is concerned. And of course, this is what he said. This is what he said today. This is what he said today. On Friday, and I quote, on Friday, I resigned my position as the head advisor to the Rudd government on mental health. And it's because of stories like Mary's and my frustration over the government's failure to do more to prevent them. So today I'm taking the unusual step of writing to you through Get Up. Get Up. Do you remember that on the other side? I'm taking the unusual step of writing to you through Get Up to ask you to sign this petition because I've come to the regrettable conclusion that my advice was not getting through. Only public pressure will spur politicians into action. So this is this is Professor this is Professor this is Professor Mendoza. Are you seeking to deny his reputation to the member for Banks? This is Professor Mendoza, a person chosen by this government for his ability, his knowledge, his expertise so far as mental health is concerned, and he's what? Reduced not only to resigning, but reduced to a situation where the Prime Minister dare not mention his name in this parliamentary chamber and beyond that uh, is actually saying that today, in order to get my concerns and the concerns of thousands and millions of Australians concerned through to this thick-headed government, to get that through, I'm asking people on GetUp to actually start protesting, to start petitioning this government because of their absolutely disgusting failure of performance so far as mental health is concerned in this country. So if you want to have a debate about these issues, if you want to have a debate about these issues, we will have a debate about these issues, and not the sort of personal tirade that we get question time after question time from the Member for Health. But this is why we will say no. Don't abuse this process. Don't abuse this chamber. Don't abuse this parliament. Let's actually deal with your failures so far as mental health and the health system in Australia is concerned. So this is a motion to allow Roxon, the Minister for Health, to speak for 10 minutes. Minutes, 10 minutes only, to come in here and thuggishly say we're going to have another tirade against the government. Against the government. And we've said no, we object to that. We object to your personal approach to these things, Order. Minister. The Minister we will refer his remarks through the Chair. Mr Speaker, I refer them through the Chair out of deference to you. And what I'm saying through you, Mr Speaker, is that, is that we object to this approach by this Minister. 
This is a disgusting approach by this minister. It's a regrettable approach by this minister. It's another opportunity. It's another opportunity for this government simply to engage in a tirade of personal abuse. We've had enough of the personal abuse from the Leader of the House and from others in this government. And so far as we're concerned, your failure, your abject failure, so far as mental health is an indication not only of mental health in Australia, but the total incompetence of this government. This government that can't deliver a program that engages in overblown rhetoric day in, day out, and yet the people of Australia are waking up every day and finding out that promises that have been delivered are Order. simply not capable of Order. being delivered by this Order. government. The reality is that this motion should be opposed.